What is up YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys aren't a subscriber already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today I am out here in beautiful Virginia. We're touring around the Maryland, DC, uh, all of the surrounding cities around Dulles Airport. And I'm just having a really great time out here meeting all of our customers and checking out their systems. You guys got to subscribe to the YouTube channel because I'm going to be touring all around the whole country showcasing all of the different locations where Dream Media is at. You guys know we have that nationwide free shipping and low price guaranteed on all the industry leading products available today. I'm going to take you right into this house behind me and show you a sick system that the customer has and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you like this content, just give me a big thumbs up. If you want to see other things, drop some comments down below. We're open to really uh, anything uh, that you guys are wanting to see. So um, we take those comments seriously and try to put out content that uh, you guys will enjoy. All right, well, I think that's all I got for you guys. Let's get into this house and check it out. This is in Aldi, Virginia. Really nice, beautiful neighborhood. And I can't wait to get in and meet the customers. Let's go. All right, guys, I am now in the client's home and I'm going to take you through and show you exactly what's going on here. All right, check it out. Now, this particular system is not completely finished, but I think that's cool because I can show you guys and give you a little bit of inspiration prior to completion. I'm in Virginia and you guys know that I'm traveling around, checking out tons of people's theater rooms and giving you guys some inspiration. We are doing a ton of volume over in Virginia, DC, Maryland area, and also other parts of the country. But this particular series that I'm on right now is all about Virginia. So what do we have up here? We got a 150 inch fixed frame, acoustically transparent screen. What does that mean? Well, you can see as you get close here, it's actually woven. They make these acoustically transparent screens for a couple of reasons. Well, the primary reason is going to be that you can put your speakers behind it. Second reason is because you can have a bigger screen and not have constraints. You could see you really couldn't fit left and right speakers behind this if you didn't go acoustically transparent. So you can also go at the correct height. So you're solving a lot of issues with acoustically transparent. And we have all of the industry leading products to choose from here on this category. This is just a white screen with a 1.0 gain. Now, behind here, we have the Klipsch 8000 L's. Left, right, center. This is gonna be the front sound stage and it's completely hidden right at your level. Now, we got the SPL 150 here at the front of the room. And then another one back here at the rear of the room. This is designed for two rows of seating and a little bar at the back. Really cool setup. You see they got the lighting put in. They've been working on this for some time and they've been consulting with Dream Media to figure out the best way to do it. And as we walk through the room, I'll point out some things that I've already told the client will need to change. So we got the 502S's right here. These are the Klipsch bipolar speakers. And you can see they fire in both directions. That's why they're called bipolar. It's really good for a seating area like this where you're in between two rows. The problem here is, is the height. This is a no-no guys. If you're gonna be doing Dolby Atmos, this configuration is called a 7.2.4. You have to have these down at ear level. So that's why I'm out here today to help the client out and also show you guys you know, a new room, give you guys some inspiration. But regardless, when you're doing surrounds, you want them right here at ear level. I was telling the client, in a perfect world, your ear would be right here between the tweeter and the woofer. So he'll fix that on both sides, bring them down to the correct level. And these back ones here, and they're gonna stay a little bit higher just because of this tall bar they got to come up over. But if you didn't have a bar here, 
you would want these rear ones down at ear level too. You got your SPL 150 back here. You see this is a little bar that the customer built out. I really like this. This is very well done. And then overhead Atmos. So this is the dot four part of the 7.2.4. The seven is all of your standard speakers at your level, fronts, surround, surround backs. The subs in each corner are the two and then the four are your Atmos. So this is going to be your helicopter, rain, everything ripping around the room, things like that um, from above. So, you know, if you heard thunder, it'd be right here. You know, if you had uh, something, whatever, you know, you guys get the idea. There's tons of different effects like bombs coming out of the sky or rain or, you know, uh, helicopter, whatever. You've seen it in some of our demos. But you want this right over each primary seating area. So you can see these are perfectly lined up right over the rear seating area and then right over the front seating area. And don't hesitate, guys, to, to reach out and use our design service. I mean, we want to help you guys with getting these speakers in the exact location. And all we ask is that you buy from us. So it's a free design service and we guarantee the lowest price on all the products with nationwide free shipping. So it's a win-win, but it's crucial <laughs> that the speakers are in the correct location. I can't tell you how many times we've gone in and you've even seen it in our videos where we install speakers in the pre-wired locations because the builder put them there and it's not exactly ideal, um, but you know, if it's not done properly from the beginning, if the wiring isn't in that location, if there, you know, isn't free space in the wall for like in wall speakers and what, there's just a lot to consider. So consult with us, the earlier, the better, really guys. Um, what else do we got here? You got the rack and they are using the 6700. From Denon, and this is going to slide right back into this spot here. Now, the crown jewel, the RS2000. You guys know that I love JVC projectors, and this RS2000 is a beast for the money. Absolutely amazing unit has really inky black levels and the sony's can't even compete right now hopefully 2022 we uh see some competition from other manufacturers but right now these jvcs are killing it all right guys well that's about everything for this room I know that this project isn't uh, super exciting because it's not set up. I can't demo it for you guys, but I am going to be showing a video on how to align this. I wanted to show the client how to do that properly while I'm here. So check out that video. And then I'm going to come back whenever this project's complete and show you guys a walkthrough as well as um, a demo of the system. So you got to subscribe to the YouTube channel. But for today, this is it. Um, I hope that you found some inspiration here, you know, with the lighting, the molding, the um, configuration, the speaker setup, and it helps you guys out. Um, there is one other thing that I wanted to give you, and that's the dimensions of the space. Let me see if I can get that from the client. All right, and I know you guys are always asking, um, so I figured I'd give it to you this time. Uh, we got 27 feet long by 13 feet wide. That's the dimensions of the space, and I just showed and our another video in Ashburn, Virginia, a room that was 13 by 18. So you can see this is substantially larger. I really like having this back bar area. It looks great. Well, I hope that you guys found some inspiration in this. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. If you would like to purchase anything, Reach out and show your support. Nationwide free shipping and the low price guarantee. 
That's all I got. Until next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.